Hey guys, welcome to the 19C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick overview of namespaces and classes so that in the next tutorial, um, we can go a little bit more in depth on classes. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a class. And in order to add a class file to your project, you can do one of two things. You can go up to Project and then go down to Add Class, or you can right click on your project in the Solution Explorer go down to add and then class. Now once this dialog pops up, make sure that class is selected. Now you can give a name to your class. I'm just going to call it my class for right now, but you're usually going to want to call it something that is relevant to what your class does. Once you're satisfied with the name, just go ahead and click add. Now you should have this new class file ready. And if you cannot see your class file, just go over to the Solution Explorer and click on the class file that it created for you. In order to go back to your form, you can just click on your form in the Solution Explorer right here. Or you can use these tabs up here at the top. And right here we have a namespace. And the namespace is the same name as our, uh, our project's name, but I'm just going to call it my namespace. And what namespaces are used for is they're used to organize classes, um, interfaces, and structs. And we'll get into interfaces and structs later on. You can have a namespace inside of a namespace. So if we've created a namespace here. It would be like a subcategory of whatever this was. So let's we'll call it my sub namespace. And now inside of this namespace, we get to put classes and interfaces and structs as well. So, and what classes are used for is they're used to organize things like variables and um, methods. So we could have like a method in here that shows a message box and another method that shows um, a different type of message box or something like that. And usually the things inside of the classes work together or they work very closely together. So like they do things that are very similar to one another. So in order to access a namespace that you've created, you're going to need to use a using statement. So if we go back here and in order to access this namespace that we created, we'd have to type using and then our namespace name, which is my namespace. And then since we have a sub namespace in there, we have my sub namespace. However, if we wanted to access this class right here, we wouldn't do dot my sub namespace because this class is not inside of this namespace. And right here we have this using system.windows.forms. And this system is a namespace. This windows is a namespace inside of this system namespace. And this forms namespace is a namespace inside of this windows namespace. And inside of this forms namespace is a class called message box. And that's what we use to display a message box. And without this using statement, we would have to, in order to access message box, we would have to type out system.windows.forms.messagebox, which is the class. And as you can see right there, it says class. And then dot show, which is the method used to show the message box. We're just going to have to uh, go back up there undo until we get this back because we're getting an error. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and it was just a quick overview and in the next tutorial we'll get on to more advanced things. So, see you guys.